So, what's up guys? Welcome to this, oh my goodness. What are you doing? Dude, alright, so here's the deal. Um, first of all, daylight savings time threw us all off, so we're, we're out a little bit later than we intended. You guys recognize um, Adam? I'm Adam. He's from Blue Line Co. He made some flies, and so he had no friends to help him test them, so I said I'd fill in that gap. Thanks. Yes, yeah, that was it. <laughs> got him. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got um, Ryan with us. So if you guys remember back in September, uh, Adam and I did a joint giveaway where we um, gave away a day fishing with us. And yesterday we went out with Bo. If you guys want to check that out, that video out, it's over there on Adam's channel. Um, caught some fish. Bo's from Virginia. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty fun little day. Ryan won from the Skiff Wanderer channel. And uh, he's from Texas. Mm -hmm. So um, instead of taking him kind of to some of the stuff that I normally fish, we decided we we're going to try to treat him to something special, take him to a little different place than he's ever been. And uh, woke up this morning later than we meant to, cause- Right around an hour, I would say. <laughs> right around an hour later. 60 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> cause uh, daylight savings time happened and my secretary didn't tell me it was going on. Um, and yeah, we uh, made a big run this morning. Already had some tacos from Southside Barbacoa. The best tacos on the planet. Now we're gonna see if we can uh, put Ryan on a fish or two. Do you have anything you wanna say? Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. I don't know if there was two or one. Towards us. You can't see it. I just see some nervous water. That's the other thing, Ryan. You probably have better viz. With this low light, 9 a.m. Okay. For a lot of this stuff. Is that a red's back right there? Yeah. Yeah, there's a red on the back. <laughs> They're not letting them get very close. Uh, yeah, I don't think they can catch that far. I believe in them. <laughs> I can't see him anymore, but left, go left about 10 feet. Third of disappearing redfish. See this tail right here at about one. And there's a tail. There's a couple of tails up here at like 1:30. Good shot. Yes. Can I see a trip? Yeah. There's another black drum right there. Sure enough. <laughs> you did it. So you get him like close, mm -hmm. and you leave like a little bit of fly on, and then when he's coming in, you just like pop it, and then that fly off, and then you don't have to worry about busting it out. All right, get out of the shop, Pete. Nobody, nobody wants you in here. Uh, man, we just had a little drum about 20 feet uh, at like 10 o'clock. Um, put it about three feet in front of him, swam to it, gave a couple ticks, and uh, he ate it. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh. Man, black drum are kind of buttheads, right? Like they don't like to eat all the time. Um, I like catching them, they're hard. And when you catch them, they're kind of rewarding, right? Um, I seem to have better luck with black drum than redfish. Well, we're gonna work on that. <laughs> this is your guy right here. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You Texas, you Adam, Texas boys, <laughs> you Texas boys are weird. That's what Adam was like, man, I don't want to catch any black drums. Like, you don't understand, like, Texas guys love catching black drum on fly. Yeah. Like, they're, they're tricky enough that they're a little bit of a challenge yeah. without being like a sheep's head where it's like, well, this isn't going to work. Yeah, yeah. You, you know? do have a chance. Yeah, like, yeah. you have a chance, but you've got to do it just right. Yeah, yeah. Or else it's just like, they're like, no. Yeah. Like in redfish, it's either like they're either going to eat or they're not. Yeah, yeah. Black drum, it's like I don't know if I did something wrong or or the fish just didn't want it. Yeah, yeah, they just didn't like it. Yeah. See, you'll get there. So black drum are like permit. No, no. sheep's head are like permit. Black drum are like 
I don't know. They're just black drum. They're wow. They're picky, but not picky to the point of being assholes. All right, what are you doing? Holy. What were you saying? Whole life. All right, so we just changed flats, um, and we've been seeing some fish, but they're not letting us get close enough to get uh, a shot on them. They're kind of spooking off before we can get to them. So, a little good, a little bad. Um, we just had a piece of grass that looked like one, and Ryan put a perfect shot on it. So, right now, the biggest issue we're having is the fish. And Adam, what I do? I just feel like there's something. Well, we've seen like two or three redfish. We've laid some casts in front of them, and pretty much as soon as the fly hits the water, they just burn off. I'm not really receptive to eating this morning. So to start from scratch. Well, with that. you didn't say cut or action. Uh, action. Um, Adam, let's let's try one of those tan seducers, the deer seducers you got. Because I'm worried that as clear as this water is, that the flash might be a little bit too much and it's blinding them. And they're just like, oh, I can't see, I gotta get out of here. So, so without that, we switch to fight. We're gonna, we're gonna mess up two more fish with a seducer and then we're gonna leave. Good. Chicken. How's that feel? I'm, I'm here for it. It's not that clear. It's right behind him. It might, that might work. Boom! Fad Larry. Fad Larry. What flavor of fish is it? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was a drum, honestly. <laughs> That's got to be the biggest one of those you've caught. This is probably the biggest one I've caught. I'll fly another Texas drum. So the fish being kind of tough on this flat, we've... Um, had a few shots, had some real spooky fish. We've changed some flies. Um, Adam threw on a new R&D pattern he's got. Uh, and we saw this drum tailing hard, kind of off left behind us. Pete flipped the boat around, um, threw a couple casts at it, um, behind it a couple times. Then once we got it in front of it, it ate like it was supposed to. And So we have no wind, which a lot of places, like that's ideal conditions. You want no wind because, you know, it makes seeing fish easier. It makes moving the boat easier. But one of the things I've learned in Texas is um, we don't have big tidal movements. So without wind, you don't get a lot of water movement. And if you don't have water movement, fish aren't going to really move. And if they are moving, they can see the boat easier. They can see the fly line easier. They can hear everything on the boat easier. And it just makes fishing super, super tough because those fish are just dialed in on everything going on around them. So we've kind of, unfortunately, been plagued with really good weather today. That was a tough one. That was a lot tougher than I had hoped it would be today. But you got to see some parts of the coast you haven't seen before. Yeah, well, this, was, this was a good time. You got to experience the Adam and Pete show live. Which shit show. <laughs> Pete show. But also fun. So you can attest that what, what you see on, what you guys see on film is 100% accurate. They're kind of like that all the time. Yeah. My wife kicks us out of the house. <laughs> Well, we're together. My wife kicks me. It, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, there's that. Uh, no, I mean, I, I appreciate you coming and hanging out with us and supporting the channel and everybody that, that uh, put in an entry. I appreciate it. I know Adam and I have been talking. We're, we're going to try to do some more of these day trips like this in the future. Uh, we've talked about doing some stuff out west, some stuff, uh, some smally stuff, some some more redfish stuff. Um, so just keep. Are you all right? I'm I'm keeping the pink house behind his head. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like everybody's just staring into my eyes. Um, they are. So stay tuned. <laughs> uh, if you guys have noticed, I've been trying to do some more monthly giveaway stuff. Um, I know a lot of you guys are new to the sport, so just trying to see if I can get my hands on some gear and give it away to you guys to get you started. Um, yeah, Adam. Good seeing you again. See you. When are, I, when are we getting together? When's our next film together? 
<laughs> two weeks. Two. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Two weeks. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're going to somewhere. Yeah. With yeah, you guys get ready. Adam and I are going to uh, Alabama <laughs> with. Eric's gonna be there. Alvin's gonna be there. The Dorsal Boys are gonna be there. Some people. It. This will look like a minor shit show. Here <laughs> hit like, hit subscribe, share this with your friends, all that stuff. Bye. Do you say anything? Hey, Mom. I, hey, I had a good time. Uh, both of these guys support the Skiff Wanderer Blue Line Flag Co. Um, Nobody we, knows what it's called. Whatever we are, you know. <laughs> no, no, what we, it's called. We, we threw support. a bunch of their flies. Fish liked them. Uh, it was a good time. Um, like, subscribe. Check out both companies. Solid. Support them. Do your part. Or else. Or else. Or else we'll find you. Or they'll have to go back to work. <laughs> or, or, or have to <laughs> <tell> <laughs> <guards>. Love you. <laughs> hey, John.